now for your local forecast. Here is a look at the almanac for today. Minot had a high of 29, pretty on par with the average with a low of 26. But look at that uh, record in 1919, negative 27 degrees. I got to say, I'm kind of happy we're not at that point yet. And then in Williston, they had a high of 31, a few degrees above the average with a low of 27. Then I have our social media here. Uh, KX and myself are both on Facebook and on Twitter, so please join us on there. Send us your pictures. I know um, with all the snow, you guys capture a lot of great photos, and we love to see them. We are also on Snapchat at KX Minot Weather, so feel free to add us on there as well. And again, we love to see those pictures. Currently in Minot, it is 28 degrees with south-southeast winds at 8 miles an hour, but it only is feeling like 20 degrees. The sunrise is going to be at 817 tomorrow morning. Then in Williston, it is currently 29 degrees, only feeling like 24 south winds at 5 miles an hour, and the sun will rise at 826 tomorrow morning. Then here are, is a look at our current road conditions. Most places are looking pretty good for right now. We do have a couple spots that still have some ice and snow on them. So just as you are going out, make sure you are aware of your road conditions and you are always driving safe. And then here is a look at our current temperatures. Most places are sitting in the 20s right now. We have Rugby at 25, Garrison is at 27, and then Stanley and Crosby are both at 28. And as we head into tonight, those are going to drop just a little bit. Our current wind speeds are mostly between 5 and 15 miles an hour. The heaviest wind speed speeds in North Dakota are in Garrison, and that's at 13 miles an hour. But otherwise, we have Rugby and Botano both at 7, and it looks like those wind speeds are going to stay generally pretty calm as we head into tonight as well. Then here's a look at our radar and satellite. Earlier today, we did have some snow flurries in the sky. Most of that stayed south of us, but the Minot area did see some snow, like I said. And if we take a look at our precision cast forecast model tonight, it doesn't look like we're going to see too much snow. Um, it will be cloudy outside, but like I said, the wind doesn't look like it'll be too much of a factor, maybe five to 10 miles an hour. Then for tomorrow morning, we can see there is a little batch of rain in the west, and it looks like throughout the day that could start to travel into our viewing area just a little bit. Wind speeds are going to be a little heavier tomorrow, maybe 10 to 15 miles an hour. Um, so we'll definitely feel that as well. If it isn't snowing, you are probably going to have um, clouds in the sky. And then throughout the day, as we continue on, this is around 9 p.m. tomorrow night. Again, you're going to see some more snow. We see it here, and then we also see it over here. And it looks like that should hopefully start to diminish as we head into Sunday. Um, by Sunday morning, it looks like most of that is out of North Dakota. Again, still could have some wind speeds, about 10 to 15 miles an hour. But then on Sunday, it doesn't look like we are going to see snow. It should be partly sunny outside. And then it temperatures look like they will be into the 30s. So Sunday looks like a much better day than Saturday. And then here is your local forecast. Tomorrow morning, things are going to start off in the low 20s. It's going to be um, cloudy outside. Like I said, the west might see some snow. Then by lunchtime, those temperatures are only going to rise by a few degrees. Hopefully, we can see the sun pop out in a few spots. And then in the evening, you can see there are a few more uh, snowflakes in the sky. And temperatures look like they might even rise a little bit more into the lower 30s. Then here is a look at your seven-day forecast. Again, on Saturday, you could see some snow flurries in the sky. And then Sunday, it looks like it'll be a better day. We might see the sun pop out a few times on Monday. We could see some more snow. And then next week, we are going to have wind chills that could feel, feel like temperatures are at negative 20, even maybe negative 30 degrees. So we are definitely going to be keeping our eyes on that. Coming up on KX News, we will have Jim Olson joining us with sports, and he has lots of girls basketball to talk about. He'll have highlights next. 